defaults, the AND evalua evaluates the false, which is what we know, and AND only ever evaluates the true when both of them are simultaneously true. So this now is equivalent to, or this now is equal to, uh, well, T ANDed with false is false, so that evaluates the false, and we have to still do, do, do the negation. And when we do the negation, this is equal to true. So this particular proposition, this compound proposition, P ANDed with Q, the negation of P ANDed with Q, evaluates the true when P is true and Q is false. Let's have a look at something a little bit more complicated. Let's say we say, well, what is what is P bar uh, ANDed with Q bar, okay? All negated, okay? And let's say it's ORed with, let's say it's ORed with, with with or okay so we want to evaluate this so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our substitution okay everywhere we see a p we put in a t everywhere we see a q we put in an f every everywhere we see an f we put in everywhere we see an, an or we put in we put in we put in an f if that makes sense okay so p's go to trues q's go to falses and or's go to falses because that's what we're defining this to be so now so the p is going to be true so it's true which needs to be negated, needs to be anded with the Q is false, which needs to be negated, and this is all inside a a negation, okay, which needs to be ORed with OR, which is which is false. So this becomes this is equal to well let's let's before we can do the AND, we know we can't do the negation over the over the operator until we have a single truth value here. But we can't do this AND until we've evaluated both left operands, yeah, left operands and right operands. So what we have to do is we have to negate the true. And the negation of true is false. So this becomes false and with a negation of false is true and with true, which still needs to be all negated, okay? And then that needs to be ORed with ORed with false. So we now have F and with true. We know the AND only ever gives us true when both of them are simultaneously true. So they're not simultaneously true here, so we must have false. So this is equal to false, which needs to be negated, ORed with false. Now hang on, false, we can't do the OR until we've evaluated both operands, yeah, so the left operand needs to be evaluated, and it's currently false, and we need its negation, so when it's false, its negation is true, so this becomes true, or with false, and an OR is only ever false, an OR, oh, where am I going to, an OR is only ever false when both of the inputs are false, okay, so in this case, they're not false, so what we actually have is that this is equal to true, so this particular let's say more complicated proposition this compound proposition evaluates the true uh, when p is true q is false and or is false okay let's have a look at something something a little bit more complicated uh, what about p implies let's say p implies or okay and p implies let's say p implies q P doesn't imply Q, let's say, something like this. Once again, let's make our substitutions. P's are trues, Q's are falses, and R's are falses. So this becomes this becomes under our substitution. True implies false. It has to be ended with true implies false, which needs to be negated. This is equal to, well, on an implication, we can't do the AND here until we evaluate the left operand and the right operand. The left operand here is T implies F, yeah? Okay? True implies false. Now, we know from an implication that true implies false is actually false, so this evaluates the false, which needs to be ANDed with. We can't do the negation of this implication until we evaluate the implication. So true implies false, or true implies false is false. So this becomes false, which needs to be negated. And now what we have is false, and the well false negated is true and now we have the anding of false anded with true okay false here's our ands false anded with true is false so what we're saying here is p implies or and p not and p implies q negated that that is not true when p is true when q is false and when or is false Okay. Let's just keep in mind is that we could do a full true table out for each of these propositions. Okay, we could do a full true table, and we could, under that situation, the full true table gives us all of the possible outputs. Okay, all of the possible evaluations of the propositions under all possible input conditions. Okay, and that's why we do a true table is to to see all possible values. But sometimes we're not interested in all the possible values. We're only interested in specific evaluations under certain circumstances and certain conditions. 
Okay, guys, uh, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that this video was in some way intuitive. And more importantly, I hope that was uh, helpful for you. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.